All right, thanks, guys. The Bucks take on the Hornets, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Charlotte. All starts Eastern Standard Time for this show that you're watching right now. Uh, once again, Milwaukee's at Charlotte, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in the Queen City. There's two Queen Cities, by the way. Cincinnati, Charlotte, look it up. Both go under the nickname Queen City. Anyway, Milwaukee opened the betting as the 4.5-point favorite. This lighting's terrible. Uh, Milwaukee opened the betting as the four and a half point favorite and the total at 234 and a hook. Since those markets opened this one up, no real surprises here as the Bucks are taking a little bit of money in the early betting here. We're also seeing movement toward the over when it comes to the total. Once again, Milwaukee opened four and a half, now the five point favorite. Total opened 234 and a hook up to 235 and a half. 61 percent are still leaning Milwaukee. 55% are now on the under, and at the moment, Charlotte is plus 175 for some money line cash. Now, Charlotte's been a very good covering team this year. They're 12 and 7 against the spread overall. They've also covered in six out of their last nines, uh, nine games on their home court. The Charlotte offense is putting up 120. Uh, <clears throat> Let's try that again, Brock. Read it. Charlotte. Puts up 120 points per contest on their home court. They're shooting 50% from the field on their home court as well. Meanwhile, on the other side, Milwaukee 0-2 against the spread in their last two ball games. They're also just 3-9 against the spread in their last 12 on the road. This Milwaukee defense is allowing 114 points per contest away from home. They're also 3-4 against the spread in their games away from home this year. Now, scoring-wise, Milwaukee's 5-2 to the over in their games on the road. Meanwhile, Charlotte, uh, Charlotte's 6-3 to the over in their games at home. So with all that said and done, give me an underdog to start this one off. Give me Charlotte plus 5 in the over, 235.5 in this one. All right, Brock, let's get it together here. Let's read it. Let's get the job done. Next game, Timberwolves, Cavaliers, 7 o'clock tip-off in Cleveland. The T-Wolves open the betting as the 6.5-point favorite, and the total at 216.5. And, and since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing a slight fade of Minnesota in the early going here. We're actually seeing a full one-point fade of Minnesota in the early action. Uh, no movement on the total. Uh, right now, Minnesota's minus 5.5 with the total remaining at 216 and a hook. Once again, Minnesota opened 6.5 down to 5.5. Total open and remains at 216 and a hook. 55% are back on Minnesota, 69% shaded toward the over, and at the moment, Cleveland's plus 185 for some money line cash. Minnesota's 2-0 ATS in their last two games, 5-2 ATS in their last seven. Meanwhile, on the other side, Cleveland's scoring just 105 points per contest. They're shooting 44% from the field on their home court. Now, scoring-wise, we're looking at 6-0 to the under in Minnesota's last six games, 9-1 to the under in their last ten. So with all that said and done, give me Minnesota minus five after buying the half a point and the under 216 and a half in this one. Next game, Rockets, Wizards, 7 o'clock, Washington. Houston opened three and a half. Now three total opened and remains at 224. 80% are leaning Houston, 51% shaded toward the over. And at the moment, Washington is plus 140 for some money line cash. Washington is just 7-12 and 12 against the spread overall. They failed to cover in four out of their last five at home, taking on Houston. And speaking of Houston, they're 5-2 and two straight up in their last seven. They're allowing just 104 points per contest on the road. Now, scoring-wise, Houston is 0-2 to the over in their games at the current total. Meanwhile, on the other side... Washington is just 1-2 and two to the over in their games at the current posted total themselves. So with all that said and done, give me Houston minus 3 in the under. 224 in this one. All right, next game. It is going to be Bulls-Spurs. 8 o'clock tip-off in Chicago. San Antonio opened the betting as the 5-point favorite in the total wet, 213 and a hook. And since those markets opened this one up, San Antonio's taking a little money. We're also seeing movement downward on the total as well. San Antonio's now minus 6, with the total moving downward to 213 even. Once again, the Spurs opened minus 5, now minus 6. Total open 213 and a half, down to 213 even. San Antonio is taking 67% of the consensus right now. And at the moment, Chicago uh, is plus 220 for some money line cash. Now, Chicago's 6-4 and four against the spread as the official home underdog. They're 4-1 ATS at the current number. Meanwhile, on the other side, San Antonio's just 4-6 and six ATS laying the points. They're also just 1-3 against the spread at the current number themselves. And scoring-wise, 
Chicago's 8-3 and three to the under in their games at home. They're 80% to the under in their games at the current posted total as well. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward another underdog in this one. Give me Chicago plus 6 in the under. 213 in that one. Next game, Celtics. Pelicans, 8 o'clock tip-off in New Orleans. The Pelicans open the betting as the one-point favorite and the total at 220.5. And, and since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing movement toward New Orleans and no movement on the total. Right now, New Orleans is minus 1.5 with the total remaining at 220 and a hook. Once again, New Orleans open 1, now 1.5. Total open and remains at 220 and a hook. Now, we have a lot of uh, guys on the injury report in this matchup here. Hayward, Rozier, and Brown on the injury report. For Boston, those guys might not play. And we also have A.D. Anthony Davis on the injury report for New Orleans as well. Statuses on those guys are either questionable or doubtful. So it'll be interesting to see if those guys play in this game tonight. Uh, Boston just 1-4 ATS in their last five games. New Orleans 0-3 straight up in their last three. And when it comes to the scoring, I've got no idea because we have such prolific, uh, proficient players uh, potentially on the bench. So uh, I'm going to do what everybody else does and take a pass on a game I have no clue about. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, no pick on that one. I'm going to take a pass pending on the uh, status of these injured gentlemen on the injury report. All right, next game, Pacers, Jazz. 9 o'clock tip-off in Utah. Indiana opened the betting as the five-point favorite and the total at 207.5. And since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing a half a point move here or there in different spots. But right now, we're still at that opening number. Indiana's minus five. Total's 207 and a half. And once again, we have a bunch of injuries in this one. Victor Oladipo is out for Indiana. We also have Turner and Sabonis. Questionable for Indiana. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, Utah. Mitchell. He's questionable. He might not play. Donovan Mitchell might not play tonight. So once again, for Indiana, Oladipo, Turner, Sabonis on the injury report. Donovan Mitchell for Utah on the injury report as well. I don't know if these guys are going to step on the court tonight. Not sure. But regardless, Utah just 1-3 ATS in their last four, 2-5 and five against the spread in their last seven. Meanwhile, on the Indiana side of things, they failed to cover in three out of their last four. They're also just 1-4 ATS in their last five on the road. And scoring-wise, I don't know where this one's going to go because we have so many players on the injury report. So once again, I'm going to do what everybody else does and take a pass on a game I know really nothing about because of this injury report. But next and final game for the show, we're going to make a pick on this one. And I'm talking about Orlando at Golden State. 10-30 tip-off in the Bay Area. The Warriors open the betting as the 7.5 point favorite. And the total at 214 and a hook. And since those markets open this one up, no real surprises here as Golden State's taking a little money in the early action. We're also seeing movement toward the over. Right now, Golden State's minus 8, the total moving upward to 216. Uh, once again, let's go ahead and break that down. Golden State opened 7.5, up to 8. Total open 214.5, up to 216 flat. 67% are leaning Golden State, 63% shaded toward the over. And at the moment, Orlando is plus 270 for some money line cash. Now, Golden State's been pretty decent against the number at home this year. They're 7 and 5 ATS in their games on their home court. They're also winning 64, I'm sorry, they're also covering 64% of their games as the official home favorite. They're putting up 118 points per contest on their home court. They're also shooting 50% from the field on their home court as well. Meanwhile, on the Orlando side of things, they failed to cover in 3 out of their last 6 games. At the current posted total, they're also just 2-2 two and two ATS in their second of a back-to-back. -back. Now, scoring-wise, Orlando is 13-7 and seven to the under so far for the season. They're also 63% to the under in their games away from home. Meanwhile, on the Golden State side of things, they're 7-5 to the under in their games on their home court themselves. 5-1 to the under in their last six at home taking on Orlando. So with all that said and done, going to go ahead and make a chalky play in this one. Give me Golden State minus 8. And the under, 216 in that one. And with all that said and done, that is going to do it for me. Uh, but before I get out of here, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented record of 8-2-1 in my last 11 daily best plays, you're going to be hitting 80%. Uh, in the last week and a half if you were riding with me. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Feel free to uh, 
hit the pause button right now, open up your browser, and just type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take you a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And most importantly, thank you for watching today's program. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And please don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page.